On the Karo satellite, my mission was a delay. I was set out to bring rocket planets outside the solar system into sight. And I found extra solar planets with short orbital periods, mostly those of large terrestrial size to show adults and kids the name Karo when broken down. It does mean convection, rotation, and planetary transit. That is me. I was launched on December 27 in 2006 atop the Suez 2.1B rocket. I had opened the way for more advanced probes such as Kepler and TESS. You should know I was operated by the French CNES Space Agency, which means the National Center for Space Studies. I was operated by the European Space Agency when abbreviated as ESAUC. One of my major finds was Super Earth Karo 7b, an exoplanet orbiting the star Karo 7, you see. Another discovery was Karo 2b, which does orbit the star Karo 2 so free. Here's my 4 CCD camera and electronics, that's right. My baffle shields a telescope from extraneous light. My Proteus platform contains communication equipment, temperature and direction controls, you now know this. And on either side of me are my solar panels, that's right. They use the sun's radiation to power the satellite. From the Karo satellite, my mission was a delay. I was set out to bring rocket planets outside the solar system. Into psych. The James Webb Telescope and Infrared Space Observatory launched in 2021 to find the first galaxy. The James Webb Telescope and Infrared Space Observatory will see stars forming planetary systems while remaining steady. My name is James Webb. I am the telescope you see. I am an infrared space observatory. On December 25th in 2021, I was launched into space to start observing on my run. My primary mirror is 6.5 meters across. $10 billion is the amount of my total cost. My primary mirror has 18 segments in a honeycomb structure. I'm powered by an onboard solar array. Of this, I am sure. This solar array provides me with 2,000 watts of electrical power system to maintain my observatory orbit by the hour. I have enough propellant on board to last 10 years of operation to give a better understanding of the universe to some nations. 13.7 billion light years is how far back in time I will see. That's 100 million years after the universe was born, you'll agree. So far I've discovered a distinct signature of water you see on the distant planet named Wasp 96b. I also found and tidal tales there's more i'll muster there are so many more discoveries you will see using my giant mirror and infrared spectroscopy the james webb telescope and infrared space observatory launched in 2021 to find the first galaxy the james webb telescope and infrared space observatory will see stars forming planetary systems while remaining steady We're the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Telescope, that's me. We're here to tell you about us and what we can see. After decades of planning and research, I was finally finished and launched in 1990 as NASA had wished. I orbit 340 miles above Earth's surface to do my thing. Powered by solar power collected by my two solar powered wings. I'm the length of a large school bus and weigh as much as two elephants, making more than a million observations while traveling five miles per second.
second. I take sharp pictures of objects in the sky, such as galaxies, planets, and stars, and transmit them back to Earth for you to see. Earth's telescopes are blocked by the atmosphere to see light from space. I orbit above this atmosphere to give a clear view of my star chase. My achievements are pinning down the age of the universe, and I discovered two moons of Pluto, Nix, and Hydra, of course. I've helped determine the rate of which the universe is expanding in whole and discovered nearly every major galaxy is anchored by a black hole. The James Webb Telescope is an infrared space observatory launched in 2021 for space exploration. You see, I'm here to probe the cosmos and uncover the history of the universe from the Big Bang and alien planet formation and much more, of course. I'll take 30 days to travel a million miles to my home that's permanent, orbiting the sun aligned with the Earth to explore space is my intent. When NASA built me, $10 billion was my cost. My impressive primary mirror is 6.5 meters across. It has 18 segments in a honeycomb structure, I say, and I am powered by an onboard solar array. The solar array provides me with 2,000 watts of electrical power and a propulsion system to maintain my observatory orbit by the hour. I have enough propellant on board to last 10 years of operation to give a better understanding of the universe to every nation. I can see 13 billion light years back in time, which is 100 million years after the universe was born. I do refine. We're important because we give a view of space that is clear. Orbiting above Earth's foggy atmosphere We're the Hubble Space Telescope And the James Webb Telescope, that's me We're here to tell you about us and what we can see
I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. I fly around the world every 90 minutes. I orbit the Earth 16 times in 24 hours. That's legit. I'm 357 feet long from end to end. And am I after the moon? I'm the second brightest object in your sky. I have two bathrooms on board, there's also one gym. I have six sleeping quarters and six spaceship docks for the win. Here's a brief history about how I came to be. Pay attention to my incredible collaborative construction story. The idea of the space station was science fiction until the 1940s. The structure might be built by by many nations. In the 1950s, designs of spaceships and space stations began to develop with the beginning of the space age and it gained traction. The first rudimentary station was created in 1969 by the linking of two Russian Soyuz vehicles in line. In 1984, the U.S. President Ronald Reagan told NASA to build the ISS for many nations. Then in 1998, the construction had begun of the only international space station. That year, the first segment of the ISS launched in November 20th by the Russian proton rocket named Zarya. It's no myth. The Unity node from the US launched December 4th by the space shuttle Endeavour set it on its course. The Endeavour met Zarya in orbit with the Unity node to make the first connection connection with the Russian segment, you know. In the year 2000, the first crew to man the space shuttle adrift was Bill Shepard, Yuri Gatsenko, and Sergei Krikalev. The US lab module was added in 2001. Then the European and Japanese lab joined in 2008, and we're not done. The ISS consists of 50 nations, Canada, Japan, and the Russian Federation, the United States, and the European Space Agency. They are Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, and Italy. The Netherlands, Norway, Spain, and Sweden, Switzerland, and the famed United Kingdom. Maybe you will have the chance to visit me someday and be another part of the ISS and its history. I'm the ISS, the International Space Station. 1998 was the year that begun my construction. I make multiple orbits around the Earth every day. Let's learn more about my history as we orbit in space. International 
a system of units today. I orbit my G star, it's called Kepler 37. Here it's similar to your sun, as you can see when it did appear. I orbit my parent star at 9.3 million miles away with an orbital period every 13 days. If you're looking for me in the dark of the night sky, you can find me in the constellation Lyra. Please stop by. I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37b, orbiting Kepler 37. That's my host star, you see. I was discovered in the month of February in 2013. Now let's learn more about me. I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37b, orbiting Kepler 37. That's my host star, you see. I was discovered in the month of February in 2013. Now let's learn more about me. Earth has a second moon, it's me, provisionally designated, 2016 HO3, Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016, by Pan Stars. Asteroid Survey Telescope You now see This telescope is located on Haleakala In Hawaii Which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way What's the name they gave me even though it is extremely hard to say? I am very small compared to Earth's moon measuring 164 feet across. I'm tiny, it's true. I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory. Never closer than 4,200 times the 239,000 mile distance of your moon you see. I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye like other asteroids do. I'm a quirky satellite and this is true. Because of this, researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free. Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object also known as NEO, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of core orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3, Kamu Avrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may change with new facts that we can avoid I am the sun the center of your solar system I do erupt intense high energy radiation this radiation I expel is called the solar flare you learn about them in this song and why you should care the sun is a ball of plasma like an extremely hot ocean shaped like a wheel this plasma is pushed around and shaped by the sun's magnetic field when the sun's plasma swirls around by its magnetic field it gets twisted and releases energy around sunspots they are real this energy released is caused by magnetic knots when one of these knots breaks it releases solar flare so you are taught solar flares are waves of high energy radiation shot through the solar system in which we are all one these solar flares race through space at the speed of light creating a solar proton storm these storms are no delight 
When millions of tons of plasma are thrown from the sun's atmosphere, these storms are called coronal mass ejections, as you see right here. These CMEs reach speeds of 5.6 million miles per hour. When they hit Earth, it doesn't hurt living beings, even with such power. The Earth's atmosphere protects life from the biggest solar storms by absorbing the impact, so beings on the surface are safe from harm. When a CME is too big, it creates a solar superstorm that occur once or twice a century, so you've been warned. If a solar superstorm did happen in this day and age, it would shoot billions of tons of plasma from the sun, I do say. If this type of CME traveled across space towards the Earth, it would reach you in one day. Yeah, that's fast for what that is worth. Its shockwave would compress Earth's magnetic field, making it frail. The two magnetic fields would merge, stretching Earth's field into a thin tail. This stretch tail can't contain this energy anymore. When it snaps, it releases explosive energy towards the Earth that it stored. This creates something very rare called the geomagnetic storm. Normally, no living thing on Earth would even know it had formed. The only thing it would affect is your electricity. Because you rely on this so much, it would disrupt human life, you see. Because Earth is covered in millions of electric wires and transformers, this geomagnetic storm would shut down the power. Humans would be overturned. If one of these storms hit the Earth, electricity and internet would not work. All things powered by electricity would turn off along with all networks. Computers would wouldn't work along with phones and electronic devices, no refrigerators or any other household appliances. Even though we can't stop these terrible solar storms, their nasty side effects can be prevented by how we are warned. Engineers would have a day or two to unplug major power grids until the solar storm passes Earth, preventing blackouts we forbid. Humans need to prepare for these types of storms to prevent being thrown back to the stone age before they form. A cool event humans experience from any solar storm is the aurora borealis at the two poles is where they perform. I'm the life-giving sun, you all need me to live, but I am unpredictable, so solar storms I give. I am the sun, the center of your solar system. I do erupt intense high energy radiation. This radiation I expel is called the solar flare you learn about them in this song and why you should care i'm an exoplanet orbiting the star caro seven you see in the constellation of Monoceros, my name is Caro 7B. I was first detected photometrically in 2009 by the French led Caro mission in the month of February. I refined, I was discovered by a French astrophysicist named Daniel. Rowan, working as a director of research emeritus at the CNRS, it's going on. I used to be the smallest exoplanet until the discovery of the exoplanet that was given the name Kepler's 37b. I do orbit. star Caro 7 you see in the constellation of Monoceros my name is Caro 7B when you travel 489 light years from the earth to the constellation of Monoceros you'll find Caro 7B since its birth I am I have a volume 
surprise Measuring this dip in brightness together with my star size Estimate allows the calculation of my planet size After I was discovered and independent Validation was supplied By the Spitzer Space Telescope Which confirmed I am a planet bona fide My mass is still unconfirmed But it does range in between Two and eight Earth masses This is all that they have seen I orbit my star My name is TRES-2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. With the discovery date of August 21st in 2006 is when they noticed me at first. I was confirmed a planet on September 8th in 2006 officially. My birthday! I was discovered by an astronomer named Francis T. O'Donovan. That is for sure. First seen on the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey, or you could call it TRES. It's an acronym, I say. This all happened in California, you will see at the famous Palomar Observatory. My discovery also took place at the Lowell Observatory located in Arizona. Now, here's more about me. My name is TRES-2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. GSC 03549-02811 is the star that I orbit and a long named one. My parent star is a yellow main sequence star similar to your sun. Just to keep you on par, I belong to a constellation in the far northern sky. Its name is Draco, which is Latin for dragon, I imply. I'm 750 light years away from your solar system. That's where I'll stay. I'm thought to be the darkest known exoplanet, reflecting less than 1% of any life that does hit. My mass and radius does indicate I'm a gas giant with a ball composition similar to Jupiter. You're super giant. I'm likely to be tidally locked to my parent star. I'm extremely dark and completely bizarre. My name is TRES-2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. Discover me! I am Uranus and I 
atmosphere is mostly made up of the following three hydrogen, methane, and helium HE. The tilt of my axis is at 98 degrees. It's one of the steepest tilts in our galaxy. Most of my mass is made. To thank you for learning about the planets on this page Go subscribe to us please, no matter what your age I am an exoplanet, my name is Kepler, 1649C. I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler, 1649, you now see. Exoplanets orbit outside your solar system, that's where I hide. I am similar to Earth, I'm spun, find out more when song is done I was discovered in April 2020 the year by the Kepler space telescope and so we are clear Jeff Kopp Lynn the director of S E T I said I'm similar to planet Earth found so far by the space telescope Kepler at large I'm about 300 light years from your Earth in the constellation of Cygnus For what that's worth I'm identified as a rocky planet By NASA My radius is 1.6 times that of Earth I know that you're in awe I take 19.5 Earth days to orbit my host star Kepler 1649 is its name The red dwarf in charge I am in the habitable zone Of my red dwarf star So far this is known on my atmosphere it is unclear if I can sustain liquid water on my surface around my sphere I am an exoplanet my name is Kepler 1649 C I orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 you now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system that's where i hide i am similar to earth i'm spun find out more when this song is done i am an exoplanet my name is kepler 1649c i orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when this song is done J14 07
even be that's me I have a ring system bigger than Saturn you see I orbit a young star and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri in 2012 when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek at the University of Rochester I earned the name of Super Saturn Because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings Which makes me the king When I orbit my sun it takes about a decade Which is estimated at about 3720 25 days I'm within the constellation of Centaurus It's about 434 light years from the Earth But I don't fuss No one knows if I'm a gas giant Or a brown dwarf with rings I'm sure you'll find out more about me While I do my thing There's a gap in my rings Which probably means one thing It may have been made by an exomoon of mine About this I do sing I also have a Another name when I show you you will see it is 1s wasp J147b my name is J1407b that's me I have a ring system bigger than Saturn you see I orbit a young star and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri my name is J1407 B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I have yet to be discovered, astronomers search for me. That's the reason I'm a hypothetical planet, you see. Astronomers think I am in the outer solar system, I spin beyond Neptune's orbit.
My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars. Callisto Europa got a meeting. short as they come. It takes 12 Earth years for me to orbit the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. Is the amount that I'm wide I'm so big you could fit 1,000 Earths inside I've got a giant red spot It is a raging storm Scientists think 400 years ago Is when it took form Hydrogen and helium Make up most of my atmosphere I am a gas giant And an impressive sphere 3.13 is the amount of degrees That I tell on my axis, let's sing the chorus, please. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means. The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen. A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see, my name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree, my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. 59 Earth days equals one day on me, my surface is made of stone covered in craters you see. Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium make up my exosphere. I have no moons and I have no rings, but I'm the second densest planet amongst other things. I am the first planet from our sun you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. That's my gravity pull. 
soaring towards my surface top 10 hours and 39 minutes long is a day on my surface let's sing this song i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system please come sing along until my teachings are done takes 29 years for me to orbit the sun and my rings are made up of rock and icy chunks 886 million miles away is my distance from the sun that is why i'm chile hydrogen and helium are what i'm mostly made of and my atmosphere from the surface above 26.7 is the amount of degrees to spin on my axis i'm so cold that you freeze i am saturn the sixth planet from the sun i'm known for my rings by everyone i'm the second largest planet in our solar system please come sing along Sun. I have the highest 
mountain in our solar system A volcano named Olympus Mons Saturn, I am brown in color, I'm the sixth planet from the sun, my outer rings are extremely thin, they're made of dust and icy chunks, there are eight planets in the solar system, and we revolve around the sun, join us to learn about the different planets, now sing along and have some Uranus. I am blue in color. I'm the seventh planet from the sun. I orbit the sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781. My name is Neptune. I'm also blue in color. I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I'm the last gas giant in our solar system and I'm also the coldest one. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets, now sing along and have some fun. I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 243 Earth these is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation, I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye From the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds Is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters And some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface And my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name my brightness above I am Venus I'm the second planet from the sun and I'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system now learn and have some fun
gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change. 238,900 miles from the Earth is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf. The reason you see one half of my surface all the time is because my rotation's the same speed as the Earth taught in this rhyme. It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around. There is no air on my surface, so you won't hear any sound. On the moon, Earth's natural satellite, I rotate the same speed as the Earth, and I'm a natural source of light. On the moon, my appearance is gray and white. You only see one half of my surface, whether it's day or night. My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. I got my name from the Romans, it means god of the sea. My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me. Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere. I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here. Minus 392 degrees an average day on me. And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system C. My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun. I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks. About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year. 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star Let me introduce myself, I'm Ganymede I orbit Jupiter, come and learn all about me out of all the known moons in the solar system I am the largest by far until a larger moon comes I was discovered by Galileo Galilei In the year of 1610 in January If I orbited the sun instead of Jupiter I'd be considered a planet by the IAU for sure I am larger than Pluto and our planet Mercury And I'm slightly smaller than Mars As you can see, I do have an iron rich liquid core I'm made of equal amounts of silicate rock and water there is more I have an eternal ocean that may contain much more water than all Earth's oceans combined but no one knows for sure I'm the only moon known to have its own magnetic field I'm the ninth largest object in the solar system for real I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star My diameter is 3,273 miles I'm 26% larger than Mercury by volume with style It takes me roughly 7 days to orbit Jupiter at 665,000 miles, I assure I'm around the same age as my planet, Jupiter I'm 4.5 billion years old, I'm very mature Let's take a look inside and cut away my layers 
surface here Polar frost covers my surface It did just appear Under my hexagonal ice You'll find my salt water ocean Then the tetragonal ice And rocky mantle within This is my iron and iron sulfate liquid core Followed by an iron core That's solid, you want facts here some more I'm the largest satellite In the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter My name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars. I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star. I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen. I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede. Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars. I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah that is me I was the first exoplanet orbiting A main sequence star 51 Pegasi is my star's name I know it sounds bizarre I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit Measured by astronomers I was first discovered In the year of 1995 At the Hope Province Observatory With their eye tip towards the sky The astronomers who discovered me I will tell you in this song They are Michelle Mayer and Didier Quillos They are headstrong My discovery had won these men A Nobel Prize in Physics There was nothing to be said about them By their critics my Jupiter mass is a round 0.46 That's my unit of mass equal to the total mass of Jupiter, the planet I'm located 50 light years from the constellation Pegasus you need a very large telescope to see me This you can trust In 2015 the IAU announced my chosen name Without a laugh They named me Dimidium Which is an adverb meaning by half Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun That is why I'm so hot Yeah well, I am spun My orbital speed is in miles per hour 304,000 Now that's a lot of great power I am thought to be tidally locked To my host star Much like the moon is to your Earth But not as far I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi 
might be 